We all know glitches can be very funny, very silly, but sometimes they're creepy. Hi folks, it's Falcon and today on GameRank's 10 glitches that scared the bejesus out of gamers. Starting off at number 10, it's a Major League Baseball, the show 17 glitch that, wow. When this happened, I remember there being so much. Because, I mean, you could do stuff with the sliders that would cause the people in game to, I guess, be horrific freaks that are actually scarier than anything in any horror game you've ever seen. And they're also in baseball uniforms running around on a baseball field, so it's like 20 times more bizarre. But like the hair gets all insane and freaky and the skin turns into that. Like, look at that. I don't I don't even really know what to call that. It's like a straw thing. If you saw that in a dream, you would wake up immediately in terror. It is awful. What is that? What do you even call that? At number nine is Manimals in Red Dead Redemption. Now, some people consider this a little bit funny. I'm one of those people I consider it amusing at very least. But one of them specifically is kind of scary, and it's because of the way it moves. Now, what the manimals are, are animals that spawn on the Red Dead Redemption map, but that spawn with human models. Like, for instance, sometimes you might see a human flying around in the air like a bird. It's because the computer spawned a bird with the wrong model. The bird man is a funny one, and the donkey man is also a funny one, because it's... I mean, it's a donkey that is a human model. It's very silly. But the cougar man is outwardly scary. It moves around like a cougar, obviously, but it's really just a very fast man who is hurting you like a cougar would. I don't know, there's something about the way that it moves that reminds me of, like, nightmare people. You know when people move really unnaturally in a dream and you're like, ooh, I'm done, waking up now, because your body's like, that's not something we want to see. Moving on to number eight, another Red Dead, well, I guess Redemption 2, but technically Red Dead Online glitch. Hey, have you ever seen a pile of horses that are dead and have been burnt? Uh, because it's not pleasant. I mean, it gets a little bit of a chuckle the first time you see it, but really, it's actually kind of horrific. Like, if you saw that in real life, you would know that something is seriously wrong. If you saw it in a movie, you would know that something is seriously wrong. I do not know why anyone would feel alright with a big pile of dead, burnt horses. Like, even in a video game, it comes off as, oh, shit's about to go down. Things are about to happen that are scary. So when it's obviously just a glitch, it still kind of triggers that, oh, hey, we're moving to a different status in this game. Act two has begun. Even though it's really just Red Dead Online and that's not the case at all, it does really feel that way. At number seven, in The Evil Within, you can get beheaded and continue to play the game. I mean, it's pretty cool that you can get beheaded in the game, and that's usually a death, like it usually kills you, but there are times when it will not, and you just continue playing the game. It's particularly funny because if a, like it starts to happen again, where you get beheaded again, it doesn't like kill you, like you don't have a head. It's like, no, no head. Blade can't do that. No head. Stay live. At number six, in heavy rain, I'm gonna admit this one's not particularly scary. I mean, it would be scary if you actually have to live through the events that are going on, and you might even react in the way that this glitch causes Ethan in heavy rain to react, but it's also really, really funny. People refer to it as press X to Sean. Now, at this point in the game, Ethan, a father, is attempting to save his son, Sean, who is trapped in a storm drain or something, and a sequence of events happens in which he has to do a lot of stuff. You can get it to glitch out so that the entire time he's just yelling, Sean. As if he's looking for Sean. None of the other dialogue is allowed to play. It's just him yelling, Sean. You just keep pressing X and he keeps yelling, Sean. Sean! Sean! And it's the funniest thing in the world because the villain shows up, monologues, and you're just like, Sean! Sean! And he's just like telling you like, no, oh, I'm not going to spend my life in prison, Ethan. Sean! Sean! 
It has to be like monumentally irritating, but he he powers through that monologue like it's nothing. Real professional villain. Like technically the game is scary in some ways. And if you're a parent, I'm sure that's probably a really nightmarish situation. And I could see somebody simply yelling their child's name repeatedly. However, it's very funny in this game when this happens. Congratulations, Ethan. You succeed. And number five, in Mass Effect Andromeda, you know they got the character animation pretty wrong, right? Like, we all know that. It looks terrible. But there's times when glitching causes it to be way worse. Um, it goes from just being bad to being horrifying in some ways. Like, when characters' heads just sort of start bending and curling around as though they're some sort of otherworldly being that has penetrated our dimension a la Stranger Things or something. I mean, they already look bad. Or at least they did. I, they made them a little bit better, I guess. But when they turn into creepy crawlies, it's just, it doesn't matter that they made them better. It's a big, twingy, sort of weird person thing. Also, the game's bad. At number four, speaking of creepy crawly human transformations, way back in Battlefield 3, I don't know, maybe you remember the body stretches out while crawling around on the ground bug. Bug being probably the best description. He looked like a big, ugly bug thing crawling around on the ground. Horrible, horrible. The neck, it goes from being a normal human neck to being something totally different, very long, maybe a little giraffe-like if it weren't for the movement. Very not giraffe-like, the movement. Very bug-like, very freak-like. Don't like it at all. However, it is also very funny. It's just if I saw something like that in real life, I would be like, mm -mm. oh, wow, we're done. We are so done. And I would go the opposite direction. I'd probably do it quickly, too. At number three is the Fallout 3 no skin body thing glitch. I don't really know what to call it, to be honest with you. You could, in theory, come across a body that's just standing around doing nothing uh, with no skin. The reason it has no skin is because in this game, there was body damage that could be caused. And if you found a body like this, you could damage it. You could shoot it and the parts would come apart. And it, it, it's, I mean, it does what you would think it would do other than existing. Like as far as existing, you would not think it would do that because it's very, I'm not going to pretend that I'm like terrified of it or anything, but would I want to see that in a dream? No, no, I can't say I would. And a lot of these things I actually don't really think are scary when I see them. However, they haunt me later or inspire something to haunt me later. At number two, Assassin's Creed Unity and the no face glitch. This one, truly a classic, truly horrifying. Not the only game that this has happened in either, but I remember when it did and oh, did it. This was one I think that actually happened with The Witcher 3 as well, if I remember right. But the Assassin's Creed one was particularly good on account Ubisoft just for whatever reason can't. They just can't, they don't know. It never stops with Ubisoft or at least it didn't in that era. I guess their games are a little less glitchy now, but why? Wow. Hello, I am the assassin. Allow me to recite to you my creed. You don't have a face. What's your deal, dude? Why, it's a scary face for the assassinations to make them have more impact. No, man, you're glitching out. Don't try to act like this is on purpose. It's yeah, you're right. I should not exist in the world. And finally, at number one, Daisy's mannequin glitch. This is just an absolute classic of a creepy glitch. These random people, I guess, they're not really people, they're not people playing the game. It's just human 3D models that are spawned by the game. Would appear from time to time, and they'd just stand there, and they'd either be dressed normally, or sometimes dressed strangely, like in their underwear, holding an object that they shouldn't be, a fire extinguisher, a weapon of some kind. And they're often bleeding, just like profusely bleeding all over the place. They don't do anything. I mean, you can interact with them. You can ax them, you can punch them, you can shoot them. And they do move, but they don't really react for real. They're just dummies, like 3D models that spawn with collision for whatever reason and bleed everywhere. It's really, really weird. I don't know what else to call it. Even though it's just a game, like, what is this? 
That's all for today, though. Do you remember any glitches that just scared the absolute bejesus out of you? Leave a comment, let us know what you think of the ones we compiled, and click like on this video if you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, now is a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every day of the week, and the best way to see them first is, of course, a subscription. So click subscribe, enable all notifications, and as always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at Falcon the Hero. We'll see you next time right here on Game Ranks.